another freezing cold morning. <laughs> it's fucking freezing. It feels like winter. Uh, welcome back, ladies and gents, to another shit review by me. Uh, uh, this time it's the Oxford Storm X rain cover. Now, I'm going to say that this is the best rain cover that you can get. <laughs> and I've had pretty shit ones, okay? But pretty shit ones. Ones will rip, ones will melt on your, <laughs> your exhaust and shit. And uh, this one is expensive for what it is, but if you ain't got a garage, I think it's the best protection you can get it. And uh, well, let's get into it, right? First, we've got this reflective paneling at night, you know, you can light up and show where your bike is for car drivers. You can fit an Oxford Solarizer solar panel charger here uh, for winter, you can keep your bike fully charged up. So, you just put it in there and this, you know, undoes, undoes and you can route it through to your battery. It's also got another panel at the back for your number plate. Doesn't really fit on mine. Well, I'm not really asked because I'll keep it at home. Um, I could probably lift up the front of it a little bit and get it on if you really wanted to, but you don't need to. I don't know why you need to show your, <laughs> your license plate unless you're at a big bulldog bash or some shit like that, you know what I mean? Uh, let's go further down, shall we? Let's go deep down. We've got, this is a nice little thing. It's got a hole though, and another hole right there. So, when you're packed up, you can put a chain through it, chain through that side, and then it's also got a little pocket so you can put your lock in there, so it doesn't get fucked up by the weather. Oh, which is a great thing. It's also got one at the back, if you want to chain it up at the back, also in the pocket. And something which is cool, which I don't see many of them doing, it's just a little thing. It's got a little, uh, a little strap so you can fasten your bike in, well, so you can fasten it together so it doesn't blow off in the wind, which is pretty cool. Um, that's, it's a cover, you know what I mean? It's heat resistant, totes off. Uh, it's also got a fleece lining underneath, which I'll show you. And um, yeah, I think it's the best you can buy, to be honest. It's been through all sorts for me. It's been through the snow, the storms, the rain, the wind, everything, and it's just... It's protected it beautifully. I mean, it's a piece of shit underneath, but... <laughs> but it's protected my piece of shit underneath. Let's just take it off. Let's <laughs> As though you need instructions on how to take off a <laughs> motorbike. Come on. Oh. The thing I like about this one, I got a size medium. Right. And it fits my bike pretty perfectly. Because if this, if it didn't have a strap underneath, it does get caught up on all the little things like your your indicators, your handles, my mirrors. It's a pretty tight fit, you know. I got a medium, and I'm on the SV650, as you know. But I wouldn't want to get a size bigger. Really, really wouldn't. Ooh. It does get caught on a lot of stuff though. It's got an elasticated bottom, as you can see, so you can stretch it around. And it's also got the fleece lining underneath to protect it from scratches. Now, as you can see, I've got oil and shit under there. That's pretty much where... <laughs> that's pretty much... Yeah, that's where the chain and shit is. So, yeah. I've had it a while. And it's oh, real easy to pack away. Real easy. I'm gonna do it now, but <laughs> I'll probably fuck it up. This is the little bag what you get with it. It comes with a little sheet in front, but I've lost that because I've had it for ages. And this is um is not like a, uh, a sleeping bag <laughs> or a tent where you can't actually get it back in the bag. This you can actually put back in the bag again and again. It's great, isn't it? I remember. Once me and the missus years ago, when we first went to Edinburgh, and we were poor, poor like, <laughs> and we went to the Fringe Festival to see some friends and all that type of shit. <laughs> we went down on the train, and we were coming back. We'd never, we weren't like seasoned campers or some shit, and we couldn't put the tent back in its bag. <laughs> 
so we ended up carrying it I rolled it up like a carpet and just carried it <laughs> all the way to the train station I think it was Waverley was it or was it here I can't remember and uh, we were so tired from getting wasted and fucking doing comedy shows and staying out all night for the last four days so I think we stayed there <laughs> We just fucking dumped it. We got on the train and we dumped it right on. We didn't put it in the thing. Uh, we didn't put it in like a a, uh, a hold or anything like that. We didn't have like a suitcase or shit. We could put it in. So we just dumped it in the walkway right in front of all the, all the commuters. Uh, all these business people with their jumping over all their shit, all their pots and pans and everything. <laughs> We, we just found a seat and sat there and thought, fuck it, I don't care, steal it, don't give a shit, I'm too fucked. <sighs> Not in camping since, I don't do camping anymore. If I was going to do camping, I'd do glamping, I can't be fucked camping, you know what I mean? Basically, this is a real easy, you've got to get the corners in. Da -da. Get that in. Get this in. And uh, that's pretty much it. Just my phone to go off. Where's that? Seven o'clock. Oh, so it really is. <sighs> Anyway, and it protects your piece of shit underneath. Can you see how dirty and filthy it is? I can't give a fuck. <laughs> That's the bag. No. I wouldn't, if I was commuting, want to ride with that big fucker every day. So I understand that. It's probably not perfect for in the city unless you've got maybe a pannier. That'd be a big ass pannier. Top box, maybe. I mean, you can squeeze it down to fit it into a top box, but <laughs> that's going to take over your top box, that is. You can fit it in a rucksack if you really wanted to. Uh. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, I think the cover's the best thing you can get for protect. Well, one of the best things for protection. If you combine a cover with a disc lock and a chain lock, I think you, you stand the best chance, and an alarm, because when you've got this on, they're going to set off the alarm a little bit, you know, when they try and fiddle with it or oh, shit. Yeah, so I, I think a cover's the best thing you can get. And it's not a cheap one. I think it was 55 quid from Amazon. The link will be in the description. Might be 50 now. I think it's on sale. Oh no. The RRP was 75, but I got it for 55, and I think it's on for 50 now. So, good shit. Good shit. That's pretty much it, I think. Go get to work record another vlog, get to work, you know, life of a YouTube Easter. <laughs> oh, right, I'll see you guys and girls again for another shit review. Yeah, I'm trying to think, is there anything else what I can say? But I don't think so. This has helped, I mean, my bike is like fucking 14 years old now. And having this on, it's helped it start every single time in, in the depths of winter and the shitty snow and cold that we've had started every time I mean that's pretty much why I got it because there's no point protecting it because it's a, a piece of shit <laughs> anyway I'll see you guys and girls again for another wonderful shitty review <laughs>